Hello everyone! This is another video from the online guide on a bot constructor and telegram menu builder bot. For those who haven't watched the previous videos, we strongly recommend to start over and watch. The link will be in the description. To find the menu builder in telegram, you can use global search. To do this, in the right upper corner, press corresponding icon and type menu builder bot. And we are starting. In this video, we will walk you through the process of adding an additional admin to the bot. Initially, you can add one admin to each bot. If you need more admins for your project, you can add them through extensions. For this, we go Admin, Extensions, Admins, More Admins. Initially, added admins have almost the same rights as the bot creator. If you need more fine-tuning of admin rights, you can add admin privileges at the same time. We will talk about the functionality extensions available in the constructor in a separate video playlist. But now let's return to the basic functionality and consider the process of adding an additional admin. In order to add your first admin, go in your bot. Admin, Manage Admins, Add Admin. After that, your bot will ask you to specify the account of the person you want to add as an admin. This can be done in three ways. Forward his message from personal chat or a group. Directly enter his account Telegram ID. Send that person's user code of the menu builder project. In order to forward the message from group or a private chat, go there, select one of the messages of this person and simply send it to the bot. The bot by himself will extract ID from the message you send and will add the person as an administrator. If you know the ID of the one who needs to be added as an admin, or the first method doesn't suit you for some reason, then you can use this option. In order to find out the ID, there are many ways. Some Telegram clients allow you to see the ID right in the profile. Some bots return person's data to the message as a response. In order to add the admin with the user code, you can ask the person to go to the headbot of menu builder and send the command me. The bot will send some data as a response, one of which will be the user code. The future admin can send this user code to you as a creator of the bot so that you can add him to the admins using this code. After adding the administrator, as we have already said, he will have access to almost all of the privileges that are available to the bot's creator himself. The admin will not have access to the settings of the headbot and the admin doesn't have the rights to add other admins and cannot buy functionality in extensions or in any other ways use balances in the bot, neither his own nor the bot's creators. The list of privileges available to the admin and their status can be seen in the admin profile. The profiles of added admins will be shown every time you enter the admin management menu. The key sign next to the name of the privilege indicates that it is available. The names of permissions are self-explanatory. Mailing Letting your admin to send mass mailing to your bot's users. Forms Q&A feedback will let him receive your user's answers in the bot. Post editor and buttons editor will bring those editors at his disposal. Variables access allowing him to change all variables values. Admin area gives access to admin menu in your bot. 
In order to be able to manage and restrict those privileges, the bot's creator needs to connect the plugin we mentioned earlier in this video, that is letting to change the admin's privileges. To remove an admin, revoking all of his current rights, click the delete button under the desired profile. At the same time, this admin will turn into a regular user with all corresponding restrictions. This concludes the conversation about adding admins. Watch the following videos. The address of menu builder, constructor and telegram is already on your screen. If you like to know about updates on the channel, press subscribe. If you like to be informed about every new video, press notify.